let me do some yoga it's good for the health <laughs> so welcome back guys on uh, today's episode i'm going to share with you a very nice recipe it will be with the uh, baked potato we are, we can also say a uh, turkish uh, kumpir or turkish baked potatoes with the fish uh, my own way my style uh, so let's begin with the recipe and uh, stay with me until the end it will be super nice recipe so see you after the intro Here are the basic ingredients I'm going to use for my dish. Uh, of course, potatoes, like I mentioned, and uh, mix of bell peppers, onion rings, parsley, pickled cucumber, garlic, salt, pepper, and uh, the fish I'm using here is a silver carp. You can use codfish, sea bass, or catfish, white snapper. All goes very well with this dish. So uh, let's start with the potato first. So we will marinate the potatoes first. Olive oil, bit of uh, garlic powder, salt, pepper, and a pinch of turmeric. Now mix it well. The marination is ready. Add the potatoes inside. Mix them well. Just use the silver wrap, close it, finish. Do the same with the rest of the potatoes. Don't forget to preheat your oven 200 degrees Celsius. Now they are ready. Straight goes to oven about 30 to 40 minutes. So I fill in the fish now. We will do the marination. Here I'm using lemon infused olive oil a bit. It is now mustard. it nicely both sides lemon zest or lime you can use also pepper salt almond powder breadcrumb and the marination is done you can add a little bit of lemon juice if you want so it's marinated already. Let's cook the fish. Heat up the pan, olive oil, bit of butter, let it melt. So butter is melted, pan is hot. Just put the fish inside the pan and cook until the until crispy and brown. Smash some garlic, add it here. Now just flip it. Oh, nice. Look at this golden color. Oh, wow. Perfect. It's done now. What we will do, we will put it into a baking tray and cook one more minute the oven so potatoes are baked take it out smelling super nice just cut into half nicely oh yeah nicely baked mash it with the help of fork now we will add the butter 
and let it melt. I'm using here cheddar cheese. Let it melt. A bit of salt and pepper. And now let's do the plating. And here it is, it's ready. So I hope you guys will like this recipe. It's very nice, try it at home. And uh, super delicious, super easy. Uh, the recipe will be in the end or in the description box. Try this and let me know in the comments. Stay with me, stay connected and uh, share with others. Till then, see you, bye bye. <music>